Hello, welcome to my JavaScript events presentation for my web design and development course here at Full Sail University. I'm going to be th going through some of the JavaScript interaction for my web page and a lot of the CSS is still not finished. I definitely um, will need more time on finalizing all my CSS and stuff, but I had very limited time in making sure that everything looked spot on and perfect to my um, design portion of the project. So the CSS still looks a little scrappy right now, but I continue to work on my JavaScript um, events and interaction and made sure those were coming out smoothly and making sure it worked properly. So let's get right into the code here. I'm just going to talk briefly on my JavaScript. <coughs> So if we go to my events JavaScript page, you'll see I set up multiple functions. The first function was a load up so that when the page loads, then um, the text input would focus in and I'll demonstrate that in a moment. And then I had a couple um, feedback and warnings for the form selection. Excuse my cat. <laughs> for my um, forms and then I'm going to validate the forms so the email if you type in uh, or you forget the at symbol when you're creating the email it will um, pop up a little alert message saying that you need to fix that and that's not a valid email address <clears throat> and then you'll have to check your number if you type in your phone number because if you put in anything else then uh, numbers then it's really just going to um, send you feedback message saying please use numbers instead of characters and then we'll go into um, just a little thing I was working on for a while was trying to do the image slider um, functions and that was pretty tricky trying to figure that out um, I had a difficult time actually implementing that into my project and if you go into <coughs> my uh, contact page where you'll see all of that, um, you'll notice that I did use an on click um, event within the HTML, which I'm pretty sure we're not supposed to do, but that's the only way I could figure it out as of now. So I will definitely um, do some more research on that and making sure I'm um, doing the right add listener event because I tried doing that in my um, events I tried down here uh, but this wouldn't work and I'm trying to figure it out um, just looking back at the other examples I, I just couldn't figure it out for the life of me so uh, anyways and again I am a student so I'm still learning there's a lot to learn about um, CSS and JavaScript and HTML so um, let's go right into the web page. So I'll go to the contact page. And so you'll see the primary contacts there. And you'll notice that the images in the background are actually moving or sliding, you can say. And then you can change them on command if by pressing the button. You can go left and you can go right. And then the first thing you'll notice, let me reload the page here so that... <coughs> It goes straight into your name and I didn't even have to click on it that was just the load function and then you type in your name and then if it's just you know CCC so and just to demonstrate if it's just two C's then your name must be three characters or more and then we'll go in the email and if I type in it's just something random and then when I submit it it's gonna come up that I will need to plug in numbers and I also need to plug in an email address. So let's plug in some numbers. And then it will say not a valid email address because I have to have the at symbol at hotmail.com or whatever you so desire. And then you can submit it. And of course, you can choose you know your favorite genre, rock band, or whatever. What is your favorite album by the band? Yeah, so. That basically covers it. Also, I do have the reset button, so if you type in 
um, just anything in the user inputs then you can just reset them all and we'll reset and that basically covers it um, sorry there, there's a lot I know that still needs to be done um, for the time being I had a lot going on this past week so there's definitely a lot more stuff I can add but as of now that's that's working right now so I'm I'm glad that I managed to get my about the band or contact page up and running so I hope you enjoyed and thank you very much